just the top of your head. <laughs> hey, everybody. It is Margaret, Texas Scout Treasures, and we are back for another merch talk this week. We're all pretty much home, except for Chris. He's doing something else. So, hello. How is it going? The top of Jeff's head. Oh, it's back to you. Okay. It was just showing the top of your head a second ago. How's it going? It's going nice and slow. Where are you? I'm... Uh waiting for the management company of my studio. I'm finally turning over the keys and closing that chapter of my life. Cool, cool. That'll be nice. That yep. will be nice. And I'll head home and pop back on once they show up. Nice. Um, yeah, so that'll be good for you because I know that's kind of been, at least went on even though you weren't using the studio really for what, you know, for a while. Yeah, I think my last, sorry about that, motorcycles, my last uh, photography session was in February. And I didn't let me out of, so I had to keep going until today. 700 bucks a month. Dang. Down the drain. Well, well be... it's a tax write-off. Well, yeah. But what are you going to do with all that money now? 700 extra bucks a month? So... Well, I've been dipping into the savings to cover a lot of that. Um, you yeah. know, from the Q4 money and all that, but uh, I don't know. Oh, they're here. They're so there. I'll okay. Be on in about 10, 15 minutes. Okay. And then Joe just kind of vanished. He was here. And then we couldn't hear. We could hear him, but not see him. But okay, if you're popping off, it's cool. I'll just keep going. He said he'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, now it's just me. Hey, everybody. Um, how's it going? I don't know what happened to Joe. Here's what it says. We can't hear you if you can hear us, Joe. Anyway, okay. So let me say hey in the chat, and then I'll just keep talking. So, right? Somebody gave me the reins, and that's just me. Here we go. <laughs> oh, dang it. Joe's back. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> Shoot. You're not alone. <laughs> not gonna let me do this by myself. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me say hey in the chat though, because I was just about to do that. Um, American Yesteryear is here. Hello, and so is my friend Michael. The only way is thrifting. Hello, Michael. Armando is there, and Patricia, and so is Tracy. HB Picker, an ideal. It's Citra Emporium. Oh my gosh, there's lots of friends. Sorry if I, I don't get to everybody. Hello, everybody. So how are things going, Joe? Everything is going pretty good, actually. Really good. Yeah? Um, I, like I was telling you guys yesterday, I had, a, I think for the month so far today, I have 172 sales for the month. That's awesome. So it's really good. Yeah, yeah, that's the most sales I've ever had. And so uh, actually my royalty hasn't really changed that much, but... um. Cause, cause I've been pricing a lot of my shirts really low just, and then like building them. And then like, you know, once they sell, I will, you know, increase the prices. So, um, that's been really good so far. So I haven't lost any money, but I haven't really gained a lot of money, but I'm all for those sales. Cause I think right now I have about 837 sales. Wow. So I just need, you know, 160 something and I'll be at eligible to you know i'll be at a thousand sales and i'll be eligible to tier up to two thousand so that's my goal for the year anyways so. yeah absolutely i mean I, yeah you're blowing it out of the water because i mean my sales have been way slow and everybody has been talking about how slow things are been and joe's like not me yeah i know <laughs> been doing really good that's awesome and you've been doing know, know. some fun stuff in your group right. in the in the group too the merch university on facebook group yeah, yeah, I've been doing a, doing pretty good. Um, let's see here. I've been having a, so what have I been doing? Oh, I've been giving away a design um, every day last week I did, and I'm continually going to keep doing that as uh, much as I can, try to do it every day for the rest of the year if I can. So That's pretty cool. Yeah, so. You've got a lot of people. Yeah so, yeah, so if you're not in the Merchant University um, Facebook group, go over there and sign up. And I'll add you, and uh, yeah, every day, just put a number in, and then actually today, um, uh, this this guy Jesse from our group, he has a his own um, design where he makes designs and sells designs. He's uh, donating two designs to give away today, 
So nice, nice. And somebody yeah. posted in the group too. I can't remember who it was. A lady, I think it was a lady, posted that she bought a uh, design from you and it sold. So that was nice. Yeah, yeah. There's a, actually, you know, like I've been selling those text based designs for five dollars. Yeah. And I've been selling those, and so um, actually, I've had like two or three people tell me that uh, my designs have sold for them. So that's good. So that is good. I'm j I'm just happy because like I remember when I started, like you can, I mean, you couldn't get anybody to help you, or there was nobody to help you and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to help people out, you know, and actually I've got so many more, you know, I've helped out so many more people, you know. I just keep getting requests for design. So I don't mind helping people. So text space design. So try to help yeah. people out. So I think it's great. I just said, I sent the link over to my friend Nick. He's going to probably pop in. He's a, he's a UK seller who's getting on yeah. merch as well. So I, I was like, yeah, just come on. Because we were going to have Chris, 10K on the bay, come on today, but. Uh, he wanted to get yeah. a shirt up first, so maybe next week he'll come on. Okay, that works. I told him he could come on and do it live, and we would just heckle him as he goes. Right? That would be fun. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. <laughs> Actually, I've seen a I've seen a lot of people getting like their their first sales today or this weekend, so that's really good. There's been some updates too since we talked last. Yeah. What was the update? Did you read it? Read it for us. <laughs> oh wait, Nick's here. Let's say hey to Nick before we go. <laughs> oh, Nick, what's up, man? There's been some updates too. Hey oh, guys. Nick. <laughs> Nick, Joe, Joe, Nick. I don't know if we, you guys have met before. Yeah, I've, yeah. Well, I've, I've watched <laughs> Joe on your show. <laughs> How are you, Joe? Yeah, I'm good. Um, you gotta mute good. that. Joe, Joe, Nick. Oh crap! Know. Hang on. <laughs> I can hear an echo. Wait, 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 that's me. That's me. Yeah, it is. Shit. Okay, well, you do that, Nick. I'm going to read the uh, the update. So, yeah, the update was basically you can start deleting old drafts and removed and rejected stuff. Um, so that's pretty cool. Have you have you gone through and re uh, deleted anything, Joe? I haven't deleted anything. No, me either. Not yet. I I, I kind of want to keep like what shirts because I have like a rejection list. I want to see what's been rejected or like what's in drafts. And I, I just kind of like to keep all that stuff. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to delete it all. I just like to keep it. So I didn't share my numbers, but Nick, do you want to go? Do you want to share your numbers? Oh, is that better? What? Yeah. Yeah. Way better. Yeah. yeah. You know, when we had that hangout before Margaret and I had an echo, Honestly, the video wasn't open in any windows. It's the weirdest thing. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. Is it still happening? <laughs> so how, how have your numbers been? Um, we haven't sold anything yet, but good reason for that. We've only uploaded T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> We've been so busy with other stuff, but we wanted to get a couple of designs up because you know you have like that window of time mm -hmm. to get something up. So we've done that. The frustrating thing was I shared those couple of designs within the kind of UK reseller community because uh, one particularly was reseller related and a bunch of people said oh, I'd love to get my hands on that but it's in America and they're not shipping to the UK you know what I mean oh yeah yeah so it was so frustrating because I had a bunch of sales there and I couldn't fulfill them so we've been trying to um, set up with a Europe based one so we, we've got that underway now as well um, so yeah it's called Spreadshirt over here yeah, oh, yeah. And then we can sell direct to our UK followers and stuff so that's the plan at the minute but we do plan to get more merch stuff on <laughs> we've just been doing other stuff cool yeah well, let's see my sales have been really low too so no, mine. <laughs> no, so sure. and, and actually even though i say mine were low it's comparatively speaking because there's still you know i've had 214 sales this this month which is still really good but compared to last month it's like a hundred less wow than last month, so yeah. Yeah, so, hi, hi Joe, by the way. Sorry, I was I was having lots of feedback issues before. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, cool. Um, what was I gonna say? I guess I hadn't thought. I'm wondering if they're gonna start. I don't know when they're gonna do it. It's all speculation. Start yeah. shipping. <laughs> yeah. And now it's quiet. Um, Nick in the chat is saying that Redbubble has been good for him and, uh, and his UK customers. So. What's that, Redbubble? Yeah, Redbubble. Well, Andrea looked at quite a few different um, sites. 
and we went with this whatever it's called i forget what it's called now what did you say spreadshirt, spreadshirt that's the one <laughs> um so yeah well, i'll look at that one as well actually so there was another change too i was going to share because you know randy's been applying to get in forever since october and jeff and joe were messaging that some people were getting in like applying and getting in like in an hour just the other day so i told randy no, go it, ah. what joe that's not i don't think that's not that's not what i was talking about no i was talking about designs getting uh approved oh. uh, accepted like immediately <laughs> i thought you were talking about people getting in that's not what i meant maybe that's what jeff meant. <laughs> well anyway so i told him go apply again so he did and then he got this this new screen which didn't show up before and i shared it in the group so whenever he applies usually and he goes and signs in again that form is there again, like to um, to reapply, like reapply or whatever. But now it's like we can confirm your account invitation was received, so they won't let you keep reapplying anymore. Yeah. Oh, what does it say? We can confirm account. We can confirm what? your account invitation was received, and our records show you're still on the waiting list. We will contact you at the email address associated with this account if an opening becomes available. Due to the high volume Whoa. of invitation requests we receive every day, we're not able to provide further updates. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. That's crazy. I would. They should have done that a long time ago, though. Yeah, probably. Because he did. He's just been reapplying, and now this is what he gets. So. Yeah. I was going to ask you, Margaret. Um, what sort of percentage do you think merch is now of of your income from selling online? Ooh, like. From the just the selling part, <laughs> um, you know, you're, you're online making money. What how significant is merch to that now? It must be building all the time 60 75 percent. Oh, wow! Yeah, it's huge because I'm, I'm spending more time designing shirts than I am listing on eBay and Etsy. Yeah, so. right. So, yeah, it's had that trade off then as well with time, I guess. Yeah, yeah, but I need, uh, yeah, my plan once the kids go back to school is to have more balance yeah for sure yeah but i mean like, could you foresee a day where you're just doing you know t-shirts mm, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> i like going out finding stuff that's i mean that's why i've been kind of pairing things back and just doing um more smalls and jewelry and things like that um and i get yeah, picking up as many big things so yeah how about you how about me? Well, I, I know you. <laughs> Nick, what do you sell on? Um, I primarily uh, eBay, but I do a lot of Amazon FBA. Okay. Um, so all this junk behind me here is eBay stuff. Um, and gotcha. we've been doing that for, for years on end. But yeah, I mean, if I, think I, can, it, if yeah. I can pick up with merch and, and these other sites, then I'm game for anything. Yeah. Yeah, I was uh, listening. I was listening actually to um, Rake and Profit, Steve's video. It's earlier today that he did. He was he usually streams a video every morning, and he was talking about how he has like twelve um, income streams. You know, so I mean, he was like saying, you know, you better keep it diversified there. So I think that's a great idea. Yeah, definitely. We have, I suppose, one, two, three, four, five income streams currently. Some are yeah. small and some are big, but if they all tick along. You know, it does make it's sense. Just, yeah, so it makes sense to have all those different income streams. You know, I also do a little eBay and FBA too myself. So I mean, so it, it adds in great with merch. So, are you Joe? Are you full time selling online, or do you have a job? No, 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 no. I also have a yeah. I also have a full time job. So okay, cool. I am now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Jeff, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing all right, Nick. I just <laughs> Balls of I don't know. I guess I'm aiming at your head. I'm oh. sorry. Um, yeah, I just turned over my keys and simple peasy, no more photo studio. So now I am basically, well, I have been for months, but this is it. eBay, decals, merch, all online crap. That's good. It must be a weight lifted, you know? It is in a way. I, it's kind of a sad, because, especially when I go through and look at all the old photos on my websites of all the babies I've photographed i kind of miss it but uh it's 
it's a new, it's moving on, it's a new stage, you know. My health made it difficult and economy made it difficult to have the overhead of a studio. And this business makes it easier for me. You know, I do it when I can and when I need to, I go take a nap or just lay down for a little while and then I get back up and start working again. So that's why I love it. You know, if I don't feel like sourcing, I'll stay in and make t-shirts or make decals. Or we, we've been there a few times where we've expanded and then had overheads and then gone back to working from home, which is where we're at now. And it's, yeah, it's nice to lose those overheads for sure. Cause that's yeah. a stressful part of it. You know, no I matter how bad a month you have. Say again. I said, I loved seeing your shop though. <laughs> oh yeah, that was fun. It was a great adventure. It just didn't work financially, but that's how yeah. things pan out sometimes, you know, take that's the rough and the I hear all these people on the threads asking how they can ramp up and then buy warehouses. And uh, I don't want to ever do that again. <laughs> I'm okay. I was just thinking this weekend because I ran a 15% sale because last week sales were really slow. So I ran a sale this weekend and I got a lot of shit now. And I just, I think they should have a switch. So when you've made enough money for the day, it just kind of turns off your shop until the next day. <laughs> Cause I don't want to be make thousands of thousands of dollars and ramp up. I'm okay making enough money to live comfortably and buy Starbucks every day. It's interesting <laughs> to hear you say that Jeff, because we had a, a really good discussion on one of our live hangouts about, where different people are in their journeys and some people were almost saying because we're trying to take our foot off the pedal now similar to what you were just describing and enjoy our life as much as we do work and mm. i think some people are so early on in their career they can't understand why i wouldn't want to be bigger better faster more anymore but i've been there i did that for 10 years and nearly killed myself doing it <laughs> I think like, a part of it is also getting in, when you're younger you get in debt and don't think about the debt and then as you get older that debt starts hanging around your neck and just recently you know we refinanced the house and put everything in the, under the house now so only debt we have is the house and it's a low payment and it makes life easier that no we don't need all that money now to pay off all that debt you know so we can take the foot off the pedal as you said and uh do what we enjoy and make life more enjoyable yeah work to live yeah Exactly. exactly. Sorry, yeah. Mark, we've hijacked your show with other I don't shows. know. I don't care. I'm just listening. I'm enjoying. Hey, I don't, it's not my show. It's our show. Whatever. But, yeah, when I when I teared up to the 2K, I, I remember a lot of people were like, yeah, now it's time to really ramp it up. I'm like, I don't want to ramp anything. I'm good, you know? <laughs> yeah. How many um, up, uploads do you have a day? How much do I have a day? How many uploads do you have a day? 40. Yeah, and I'm not. I don't want to get a PA, and I don't want to. I don't know. I don't or a VA. What do you whatever you call it? I don't want to get all that. <laughs> I just yeah. want to do my own thing. A personal <laughs> assistant. Yeah, a P, you know, PA, VA, whatever. You know, FA. Uh -huh. The know. thing is, with, with merch, I can see that you can scale up, and you don't necessarily have much more work to do because it's all right. beyond yeah. designing it. You don't have to do anything, so you can scale that you know, from a, from a one bedroom flat, couldn't you? You know, it's no real yeah, overhead necessarily. It's only time involved. Yep, it's all if time. I if I didn't hate having an employee, merch would be an opportunity to have a VA or something, do some work, and like you said, ramp up, because it's passive. Once you get the design up, you really don't have to do much. So, and having a VA do a lot of that work for you but I don't like employees. I don't. I like having everything under my control, so I would never do that. But yeah, same here. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> Too much stress. This last weekend was probably the most shirts I've ever uploaded. Uh, I said it in our little chat. I had three days, actually four now, where I actually m maxed out my ten slots a day. And um, yesterday I had to scale back because I started shipping. So I only got two or three, and they were older designs that I just put up in new shirt colors because I'm trying to get to that 400 mark. So I'm 80% filled so I can catch up with Joe and <laughs> get my thousand. Exactly. Here. But uh, yeah. I'm at 436, no, 336 right now. So 
How many total shirt sales have you had? Um, let me pull up my spreadsheet. I wouldn't ask about your numbers either because you popped in a bit later. Uh, How well, are your numbers this month? This month so far, I'm at, let me go to the summary page. I'm at 113 for the month. And what surprises me about that is last month we all had that sales surge before Father's Day. Last month there's 124. And so with the, you know, it's died after the, uh, Father's Day. Being at 113, you know, I'm only 10 away from last month. It's pretty good. I, I'm happy about that. So yeah, we, yeah, when you're uploading more, you might be <laughs> making more sales? Um, hi, Mango. Um, maybe. Because um, this month has been a, a lot of uh, new shirt sales, you know, shirts being sold for the first time. Not just ones I've just uploaded, but some older ones. So I've been happy about that, too. Don't lick my arm. And then... Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. The... Uh, Total sales overall is I'm at 983. So I was hoping to get to a thousand this month, but looks like it's going to be next month because I don't think I'll get 17 sales today. That's impressive numbers. Can I ask all, all, all three of you? Do you guys use other um, print-on-demand online services, or you are you all just merch-based? Merch-based mainly. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I um. I have shirts on Teespring, Redbubble, Inktail, Mango, um, Store Envy, and a couple others, but most of them are only a few. I've really been pushing a max down on Teespring, and I really started uploading a Redbubble lately. Uh, so I started making some sales there. Significant sales from the other sites as well? No. <laughs> most of them have added zero. I've only sold on Teespring and Redbubble. Yeah. Because I don't yeah. think you were in here, but I I um, had issues because I uploaded a couple of designs to merch, and then I I shared with with some of the guys who follow my YouTube channel, and they instantly said, "Oh, I've, I've tried to buy it, and they won't ship to the UK." So I'm trying to find a a site. Well, we have found one that's Europe based, and then I can market directly to my you know if people you, who want to buy what I'm designing. If you do your own website, you can use Printful, and Printful just announced. Within the next month or so, they're opening up the European distribution center. So that will make uh, okay. sales to Europe go faster, print, uh, posters wise. And you do have your own website, so you could totally do that. Yeah. Sorry, what was the name of that service again? I missed it again. It's Printful. If you would, go to mymultiplestreams.com slash Printful. That's my affiliate link for them. I would appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> I will do that. Have a look. Yeah, I've <laughs> I know done... you... Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just saying, I, I, I had a, a few up on Redbubble and Teespring, but I have maybe like one sale on one site, maybe three or four on another, but not anywhere near like merch. So. I was going to say Redbubble's uh, calendar sales are starting up for the year because every year they switch the dates on all your existing calendars automatically. So you can keep reselling them. And I just sold one of my calendars that I've had up there for 12 something years. So that means calendar sales are coming. Wow. <laughs> I know you guys were talking about um, how y'all don't want VAs or, uh, you know, PAs or other people. But I was talking to uh, this um, one guy you got, you guys probably know him, uh, Philip James Stone. And um, he has VAs and he has like, he pretty much doesn't do anything. He is like a whole setup, and um, he actually just uh, sent me his program that uh, he just came out with called Merch Autopilot, and um, it, it pretty much teaches you teaches you like how to make your stuff like pretty much like you know where you can other people can do it with with the, with the VAs and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's really cool how how he set it up and stuff. So I'm, I'll make sure to put a link for you guys down there. We'll put a link down there so you can check it out. Yeah. And that, I mean, I think that's the cool thing because, I mean, this is, it's great for people that really want to scale up or people like me that are just want to chug along at my own pace, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, you can do whatever, you know, but, you know, some people do want to scale up, so. Really yeah, fast. yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the thing, too. Like, everybody has their own path that they're on, and that's cool, you know, so. Yeah. Go ahead. I was just going to ask, have any of you guys tried Facebook marketing? Because I know I get 
quite a few Facebook targeted ads for T-shirts. I don't know if they're merch or whatever. I don't tend to click on them, but has anyone attempted that? No, not me. I've done a couple, but I do them more for my website. And uh, the only thing I really get out of it is a lot of likes. Yeah. No money. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I've heard too. A lot of people that have tried it. I've heard that they've done better with Instagram and uh, Pinterest. Yeah. From what I've heard. Yeah, I haven't tried Pinterest. I'm going to try that. But I think I get more mileage out of doing Amazon giveaways. You know, I spend a little bit more money, but I get more traffic to the t shirts. And for some reason, I get a bunch of sales right when I start it. Yeah. American history year. I'm sorry. Go on. I was just going to say, I think as I touched on before, our our sort of idea is now to target the people that follow us online and, and what they're into, which is reselling and Ouch. flipping junk and all of that stuff. Because there's, there's a, a whole host of t-shirts you can do based around, you know, thrifting and, and eBaying and all of that stuff. So that's going to be our route, I think. Target directly the people that are into us and what we do. Yeah. We got a super chat. Tony Level, Margaret, you've taught me so much startup merchandising because of your help. Thank you. Thanks for the info. Thanks for the super chat, Tony. Wow, Appreciate cool. It. And they're saying also that Zazzle, and I know Planet Alyssa does Zazzle too. She does her, um, like her, when she does her sale updates for her print on demand stuff, Zazzle's one of the one that she that she is on. But I, I don't know if that's in the UK. Do what? I start looking at Zazzle this weekend, and I have a an account, it's been confusing for me. I'm trying to figure out the royalty on it before I really start doing it. But I'll, I'll probably start doing it. I mean, my th thought is why not? You know, get them out there, get them as much exposure, even if it's a couple bucks off each site a week, you know, that's Starbucks money. Yeah. Exactly. And Mer Merch Studio says one idea is to list the same design on a few different colors or on Anvil and Bella. Not too much work for more listings, yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been doing to get my, trying to get up to that 400 mark, is just going back and finding my best sellers and adding another listing with different colors or the new colors. Yeah. A lot of the shirts were up there before the new colors came out. I've done that with the, with the colors, to have it on two listings for the colors, but I haven't done it for Bella. I never use Bella. Do you yeah, I sell Bella on my website. I don't, I don't want to push it on Amazon, I guess. Ouched. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to dash and get my tea, but I thought I'd <laughs> pop in. Well, thanks for coming on, Nick. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I'll, I'll drop back in another chat in a month or two when I might have had some sales. How's that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to meet you guys. Good luck with that. Yeah, take it easy. Bye, Nick. Bye. <laughs> and I know, I think Nick also does like Jeff. He, I think he's planning on doing one brand name rather than doing different brand names so I, I think he popped off before I could ask him but I put a couple up this week and on their their own brand name you know a couple animal shirts see what happens ouch ouch Clarence Ninja says can we get your link added to the info on the stream which link Clarence Ninja let me know what you mean and I can get it on there I know there were a few questions that came through the chat. If you have a question, pop it in there again because I, the chat has gone very far, so I can't keep, I don't know, it's hard to find them. Um, what else was I going to ask you guys? I forget. Oh, Halloween. You guys were talking about Halloween shirts. Uh, yeah, yeah I've, been, I've been putting up <laughs> Halloween shirts. Have you been putting them up? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I haven't sold any yet, but I've been putting them up. Just recently. I have some graphics set aside for Halloween, but I just haven't. I think, was it Jennifer that said she had sold a Halloween shirt already? Somebody oh, did. Oh. In one of the groups. I think it was Jennifer so that she had sold a Halloween shirt. I sold a Christmas shirt already, so why not? Yeah. So, so what do you, okay, last Q4, I was wanting to talk about this. Last Q4, there was like the big freeze and then there were shirts that were, um, you know, they ran out of shirts. And so a lot of people had also not uploaded on all five colors, blah, blah, blah. Are you guys doing anything special to like ramp up for Q4 just in case like some of these things happen again? Well, that's 
what I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to, I want to tear up to a thousand before Q4. Not that I will be able to, uh, um, stop that. Uh, it's like eating your beard. It's so distracting. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm doing that by going back and finding older shirts that have sold and double the listings for colors. And yeah, I'm trying to get all my shirts in at least 10 colors. And that should get me up to the 400. And, and I've already sold enough to tear up. So I'm hoping, you know, if I, if I got off my butt and did 10 a day, I can be up over 400 within a week. But, wow. That's pretty good. But I, I, I have, like today is a lot of shipping today. So I probably won't get any t-shirts today. How about you, Joe? What are you doing to get ramped up to for I mean, I'm just trying to get um, all my shirts up every day. I'm trying to get 20 listings a day up, so just so I can make sure to fill those up, and hopefully by the end of this month, I will have them all up. Are you I'll guys have a doing thousand any shirts up? What? Oh, sorry. Hopefully, I'll just have my thousand shirts up by the end of this month or next month. Yeah. Do you, are any of you guys doing um, Eclipse sh shirts for the big Eclipse that's coming? I haven't done. That's the shirt. I made like <laughs> three, but I haven't sold any. That's the that shirt I was telling you about months ago that I spent four hours on, and I, it didn't work, didn't look good to me, so I stopped mm -hmm. doing it. And that was before the big push. And now I'm kicking myself. I wish I would have finally done it. And seeing some of the quality of some of them up there, I should have done it. It isn't my, too late, though. It, there's so many shirts up there. It's like the Cuvée or Cuvée. You know, there's a thousand That's shirts great. up there. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I was ahead of the trend there, but I gave up, and now I wish I would have done it. But I'm yeah. just anal on the design. I, I couldn't get it right. Um, American Yesterday is asking, has anyone tried fan print yet? I, I signed up for it, but I haven't done anything with it. Yeah. I have uh, a dozen shirts up there. Star Wars, uh, Family Guy, and a couple non-licensed. And then the Star Wars got taken down because apparently Star Wars changed their mind on a bunch. And so a bunch of the Star Wars shirts came down. And then I started figuring out how it works, and I decided it's not worth my effort anymore because they heavily reward marketers, not designers. Mm. Designers only get two and a half percent, while whoever sold the shirt or market shirts gets 30 to 40 percent. So I could go market somebody else's shirt? Yeah. Yeah. That's the whole point of fan print. Oh. You can market everyone I else's just, shirt. Yeah, that's crazy. That's how it's like It's like that on um, Sunfrog. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. So I decided to not put my time and effort in those because uh, I'm not going to get paid as much. I'm not a marketer anymore and because that takes a lot of effort and money to do ads and stuff. And yeah, not worth my time anymore. Yeah, that's what Richard said for marketing. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, I posted that uh, Merch Autopilot on my uh, Merch University. So if anybody wants to check it out, they can go over there. And then um, Diana was saying, Joe, do you have – more than one niche list. Niche list. Uh, no, is there I just a have free one. list and a paid list? I'm a little confused. No, no, there's just a free list. It's on my. Uh, it's pinned on my Merch University uh, Facebook group. Yeah. Yep. But I do have another one. It kind of uses like that same um, picture, but it's uh, talking. It's just a case study that I did with what with. Uh, I show you seven of my shirts, and um, you get to see like uh, what why they you know why they're different and what i was doing and you get to see like the the ranking and you see how many sales that i made and the royalties and everything well, just so you can kind of look at it and kind of get an idea you know if you need help or whatever yeah get okay. your mind thinking and I, i'm actually going to come out with another one because i've been talking to people and they're um they've been asking a lot of questions like oh, i got a great idea for another one so. that's great that you do this i mean you're real real active in the yeah. Group like motivating people, getting ideas generated. I don't know. It's really, it's cool. So if I mean, if somebody would have said to me when I was at the tent here, "Hey, for ten bucks, I'm going to show you like seven of my designs, and I'm going to show you what so what I sold and how many sold, and how much money I made," I would have jumped on that and like I would have bought 
she would have showed me so much. So like, that's why I want to come out. I'm trying to come out with all these things. So yeah, help people out. Totally. Yeah. Um, lots of people are talking about the the thriftologist says the top Eclipse merch shirt sold almost two thousand on Merch Hunter as of yesterday, and Diana has three up zero sales. Yeah. Speaking of affiliates, um, for all for anyone who has an Amazon affiliate marketing account, be sure whenever you're sharing your T-shirt on social or whatever, you use that affiliate link because it also serves as a tracking. You can see, you know, if it's being sold. Because I had this this last week, I happened to go check my affiliate report and found a bunch of my shirts. Ah. Do that, so it kind of tracks. You can see how your social media is working. Do you have it where it drops down, like it'll say where it came from, Instagram or Facebook or? Um, I don't think it. I have to check. I don't know if that is actually, but that's where how I share my shirts. Is also I know it's coming from some social media. Yeah. I don't know if it tells you exactly where. I have to go check the report again. Not sure. There's a way to set that up. I think it's. I think it's Amazon's affiliate that does that. That you can see which, but you have to set it up. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I, I know you can see what products were bought. Yeah. With your clicks, and I see a couple of my shirts there. Cool. And yeah, I don't see where it. <laughs> I'll have to go look and see if it was on Amazon that I'm thinking of, or if it's something else. Yeah. So do you guys go back and rework? Like, I have a shirt that one of my guys was wearing, and just looking at the shirt, I was thinking, I want to get that design back up, you know, and, and mess with it some more and, like, rework it. Do you guys ever do that? Go back to ones you've already done and rework them and re-upload them? I've done that on a couple that have been removed. You know, I like this one particular fishing knit shirt. It got removed. I loaded it back up. It got removed again. So that time I went and... It was a pure white graphics. I went in there and added some color here and there and some distress and then reloaded it and it sold. So nice. I've done that on a few before I've reloaded them. I haven't done any, I haven't done any of, any of that. Yeah. This one, I'm thinking I might, cause I think it would be a good Halloween one. If I went and like played with the design a little bit and added some text, I don't know. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I just have it. Yeah, I did that too. I had one. Oh, okay, I, I added. Uh, I had one removed, and I just all I did is add text to the bottom, and put it back up, and it sold that next day. So nice. Yeah, if you keep on getting church removed, uh, rework it a little and put it back up. Looking. Um, Clarence Ninja is asking, which site should we tackle first as far as print on demand? Outside of merch? Merch first. Yeah, I say merch first because that's that's the traffic. <laughs> if you have a merch account, but if you don't, um, th they're all about equal, I think. But I like I've constantly I went on Teespring and Redbubble and getting most of my uploads there. They seem to have more traffic than some of the other sites. Red bubble just takes so long to list something because of all the products. Did you see that, yeah, did you see that uh, post I um, put in uh, the Merch University about like uh, ask for asking for all the women's advice of like uh, <laughs> where do you want these shirts posted and stuff, or where do you want your graphics posted on your shirt? And pretty much everybody said, "Oh, we don't even wear shirts, so we don't even wear graphic shirts." I'm like, "Oh gosh, all right, that's funny." <laughs> yeah, that's weird because uh, women are the number one. I know. That's what, it, that's what I thought, that women were the, the, the main ones buying all these shirts. Yeah. Are they not buying women's shirts? Are they buying other people's shirts or what? That's crazy. Well, a lot of women like the men's cut of the – that's what I call men's unisex. What is it, Margaret? If you're going to wear a graphic shirt, if you're going to wear one, I know you don't wear much, but uh, would you – buy the men's size or the women's size? I have the to men's, buy the men's cut because – Brand. The girls want to cut so slim that. Got you. Yeah, you, you know, need it. It's if, you're, if you're endowed up front as a lady, the ladies' shirts are just. Mm -mm. 
how that do you when you're making shirts do you think of like oh this is i need to do this because it's going to be a women's shirt or this is going to be a man's shirt do you do you think like that or not really i used to when i first started in some of my early merch videos i did talk about placement for but i'm thinking about myself and not yeah you know it, and so it's like sorry gotcha. what, if you know what a woman looks like in the front it's like you know like that and then it goes down and so it if you are creating a design that goes under the then down part <laughs> like it it distorts the image you know what i mean yeah if, if the lady has that sort of curvature yeah you know exactly. so i thought about that when i was creating shirts but then i'm thinking okay i'm really cutting out the men i'm cutting out women that maybe don't have that issue um so what's your new your new thing now? Now I just put it big, pretty much on the front. <laughs> and then for anybody could buy it. Anybody, man, can. woman. Honestly, my sales <laughs> got better after I did that. I mean, because I think I, I it was okay. one of those videos where he was talking about he he just makes it big. So okay, the graphics up to the top of the. Keep it on the top. Yeah, your uh, what do you call it? your artboard. So it's a couple inches below the uh, collar. Yeah. I know when I take, I use the Amazon merch template, the, the image that I designed, and I use it for all the pods. And I know on um, Printful's women's designs, if I do that, it puts it right up to the collar. So I have to adjust it. Yeah. Um, the image. And they're flexible. Um, you can take the graphic and you can move it wherever you want on the shirt, but only what's in the box shows. So yeah, I have to lower it a little bit for the women's shirts and the women's tees. Thanks. And I and when I, when I first started, this was back when they had what was the other one? American Apparel, and I ordered a ladies' extra large American Apparel shirt. And I think I mentioned this before. I had to give it to a friend of mine who wore a medium, you know, mm -hmm. size shirt, because I couldn't. There was no way it was going to fit. Yeah. Maybe it's more. It was more like a junior's extra large. I don't even know. So yeah, <laughs> but then I guess I. Uh, never mind. You don't want to hear it. <laughs> Some guys have that problem too up front. So it's not just. That's true. Guys. That's true. Yeah. Also, another thing I've been doing: I've been putting like random graphics up on the Merch University, and like just having people comment. Like, what? What would you? What would you? What would your caption be for this shirt? Oh yeah, you know, so kind of issue one. Yeah, just like a good exercise, you know, people can see like, oh, what are people really saying, you know, so. That was a good one. Except for that horse, you needed to be the other way. Oh, it doesn't? Well, I mean, it, it, where I'm coming from, because in, in my world, in my land, you know, having an upside down horseshoe is bad luck, you know. Oh, the bad luck, okay. Yeah. No, no, I think it was upside down, wasn't it? Yeah, it was it going was down. Way. But if you have it yeah. flipped where it's going up, it's supposed to be better look, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> huh. I heard the other, I heard, I heard different. So that's. Yeah. If it's pointing down, it's like all the luck is pouring out. That's why it has to be up. Oh. Pouring. Yeah. <laughs> that's weird. I heard the other way. So I don't know. I mean, I didn't use it. It was just, it was just a graphic for the an example. So. so, okay. Okay. How about this? Whatever. The, the, we're, I'm coming up to Oklahoma city soon. Yeah, you are. How's that going to be? Randy's like, what are we doing? Going to Oklahoma. Now what? <laughs> are we just I'm like just trying to get. You're just meeting up, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just meeting up. Whoever wants to come to Oklahoma City, August 12th. And we're just going to talk merch. You know, maybe just go somewhere and talk merch. I mean, I can, we could sit around and talk merch for a long time. So. Go to McDonald's. Do what? Go to McDonald's. Go where? I know we're gonna, gonna go to McDonald's, go get some pizza. We need to go to like the famous spots that Joe has streamed from. <laughs> we need the tour of McDonald's and Pizza Hut. And then we get a video of you in the ball pit. <laughs> Me! I don't even I don't even live in Oklahoma City. I'm gonna be driving there. <laughs> oh. It's just a it's just a good metro place to be to meet. Yeah, it's just a, oh, cool. a better place to meet. Okay, yeah. excellent. So, yeah, I mean, I go there every every weekend, but yeah, we'll, I'll find us a good spot for us to meet. So, cool. Are we thinking daytime or evening or? Yeah, yeah, like the afternoon or something. Okay, cool. Yeah, because we're gonna stay in Dallas and then we're gonna go up. Okay. Yeah. 
I don't know. We, we, we can figure it out. I'll figure out the time, like maybe later on today or tomorrow or this week. And we'll, so we'll make sure we can tell everybody. And so we'll figure it out. Yeah. And let us know, like if you're in the chat or if we're watching later, let us know. If, yeah, you're if you want to come to Oklahoma city on August 12th and mm -hmm. we'll meet up and talk merch. So how about Denver? Y'all going to go to Denver? I'm going to go to Denver. I don't know. When is that Denver one? October? It's in October. Yeah. I think I'm going to be in a, out of town that day, too. I might be in Atlanta that week, so I don't know if I'm going to be there. You're not going, huh, Jeff? No, it's more than a 15-minute drive from my house. So. We have to go to Jeff's house. <laughs> or his Starbucks. We'll go to his Starbucks. And then he'll <laughs> Yeah, he, I'll go. He lives in San Diego, doesn't he? Yeah. Heck, yeah. He's County Park. What's, what's, the, what's the weather like there, man? Every right day. now, it's like Texas. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot and humid. Like, like 100? Uh, not, actually, we've been mild this year. We haven't hit, we've only hit 100 twice, but August is coming. September's coming. It's like we'll, 90s? We'll hit a couple, it's, it's 80s right now. Oh, okay, that's not bad. But we'll hit 90s and 100s in the coming two months. There, you got that ocean right there, man. Just go jump in. Sharks. <laughs> Sharks. <laughs> We've had a, a Not great all. white shark um, sightings recently, so yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sharks. Um, there was a quick question by uh, Sharia. I wanted to. Um, she's asking about resizing your merch image onto Redbubble. I don't resize them. For the most part, they all fit. But sites like Redbubble and Printful, you can resize right there which I have to when I go down to a phone case. So you don't have to resize beforehand. As far as t-shirts, the width is the same. You might just have to move it up or down. Cool. Any Shark Week <laughs> t-shirts? I've sold some, but they're not like this. They're sharks, but they're not necessarily right. Shark Week. Yeah, that would be trademarked. Yeah. But I have sold some. It was a hammerhead shirt that I did. My shirt, my, my shark shirt hasn't sold yet, but I sold it as a sticker in Redbubble that, this week. So, yay, 40 cents. <laughs> 40 cents, is that what you said? Yeah. I thought the stickers were like secondary buy items, but no. <laughs> 40 cents is some whipped cream on your on your next uh, Starbucks drink. Oh, that's, that's fattening. No. What? <laughs> I get iced tea. Oh. I do get the brownies. The double chocolate chunk brownies. That's my sugar. <laughs> I was looking through the group to try to get some um, some questions that had come through, but a lot of the questions are really the same in the group all the time. So, so you talk about the, uh, the new ability on merch to remove old rejected shirts and stuff now? Yeah. Did you go through and pull any down? I pulled a bunch. I didn't. I pulled all the ones that were removed that I have that I've already uploaded or anything, so I'll kind of clean it up a little bit. So I think that was cool. They're making progress. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't pull any down yet because I started thinking, what if I want to rem remember this idea? What if That's I want? I kept a few up there. If I haven't already re-uploaded, I left it up there so I or remind me that it's not there. Yeah. Although my new spreadsheet tells me that too, but. Something I did do as well was I went through some shirts where I was looking at what was pending removal and anything that was like pending removal pretty soon. I just started getting ready to re-upload and get those, the info for it and start actually some of my did re-upload already. So that was something I did too, just to kind of get in front of it. Something else. There was some other POD pod news this week. I can't remember it now. Oh, there was uh, the push by Teespring. They are integrating with eBay. I don't know if we covered this. Um, they're, they're integrating with eBay now, but, you know, they select which ones go up, and it has to already have a sale before they'll sync it to eBay. And they were doing a big push on pillows last week. You know, if you had a pillow designer, if you wanted to put a pillow design up, you can just put a hashtag in your description and they would make sure it got synced up to eBay. So that was interesting. And that's on Printful? Teespring. 
Teespring. Okay. But that's not everybody, right? You had it, they weren't pushing everybody to eBay, right? No, no, you had it. You they were doing popular designs, okay. and you had to have at least one sale. You know, and if your site, I don't know if it's your store or just the product, is questionable, you know, kind of dirty or whatever, they want only family friendly stuff to go up. And um, it's hard though because they don't make it easy to change the pricing of your products after the fact. And if your e product sells on eBay, they're going to take a $6, I think it's six forty-five, out of your profit as their fee. So mm -hmm. it's kind of hard with your older products. And I told you guys before, they have a 100 tier mark now. And you have to have 10 sales to go beyond that 100 tier. And you can't remove old stuff to free up you know, new slots. It's not like merch. Once you hit the hundred tier, you're at the hundred tier. We don't care. Uh, so. I got a couple of things I want to mention before we get off here. Um, okay. Mike Peterson, um, he started that free uh, uh, oh, Discord yeah. app. And yeah. um, that's been really popular. Uh, the, it's called Discord, D-I-S-C-O-R-D. Get mm -hmm. that in the, the app store. And then he has a thing on um, our page or you can, get the code and you can uh, join the merch group, the merch talk. And it's pretty, it's pretty cool. And actually what, one thing I really liked about it is that um, you can just join your own tier, whatever tier you're in. Like if you're in a thousand tier, you can just join people who are in a thousand tier only the 10 tier, whether it's 25 tier. So that was really cool. That's what I liked about that. So. Yeah. I forgot to mention that. I think we'll have to see. I think there's also, a link to drop in later. Yeah. Drop in the link. Did you see that one um, girl on merch minds? where uh, she was on a cruise and she saw like yes. people walk by and they were wearing her shirt. Yes. Like, like a group of people yeah, all have on her shirt. Isn't that mm -hmm. cool? And she stopped them and got a picture with them. Yeah, that was way cool. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be so in the yeah, right place, I guess. Yeah. It, that's pretty cool. I haven't had that happen. But except for kids walking around my house, I'm like, hey, I designed that shirt. Awesome. <laughs> no, people come up, I see you on YouTube. <laughs> Me? <laughs> run away because you're stalking me. Um, yeah, so I know we're about to get off, but make sure you know you go join Merch Minds and Merch University on <laughs> Facebook. I started a group, it's tiny, but it's mostly just for people wanting to meet up, like so it's called <laughs> I don't even know. Need up the peep up. I changed it because you kept. I kept getting teased about the peep ups. I was like, I don't know what to call this dang thing. <laughs> Merch by Amazon Print on Demand meetups. So it's basically like if you were you're trying to hook up with people locally, you know, to find people around you that want to collaborate or get together, or have. You know, go have coffee and talk merch. So. Yeah, we need to put our meetup on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> It just I was like, well, okay, maybe that'll because I want to do that here, but I don't know. I guess Houston peeps are around. We can go to Panera. Peeping. <laughs> yeah, somewhere you know, I'll I'll find some place to go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. I'll make sure to do that. But I'll put the Diego link. Peeps all hide. What? San Diego peeps all keep to ourselves. <laughs> We're afraid to meet competition. Really? No, that's just you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm putting the link for that down below, too. So. I ran into a lot of resellers in my area. And it was funny because I found out one of my past photography clients that I took from maternity and newborn pictures, she is a reseller now, and she started merch, too. <laughs> and I can see her shirts popping up, so it's kind of a weird world. There was a lady in my local, like, because we have, like, because I live in a small town out in south of Texas, or south of Houston, rather. And so on that page, a mom was saying, I'm looking for ways to make money. I need to make such and such amount every week or whatever. And so all these moms are putting in what they do, like selling Amway and all the crap that moms do. And I'm like, no, like, do this. So I put in there about merch. And there was one lady that was like, oh, yeah, I've seen your videos. So that was pretty cool. That about, is cool. I guess she's been doing merch too. So cool. That's cool. It's, it's, what's not cool is when you walk around the swap meet and someone comes up and, aren't you that guy on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> That's just kind of creepy. 
I've never had that happen, so. They'll say girl, but okay. <laughs> okay. Joe, have you ever, I think I maybe had that happen one time. Joe, have you ever Yeah, had... one time. Yeah, one time I met some guy at a Goodwill, and he was like, hey, aren't you that guy on that merch show? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I was at a garage sale. That's cool. Yeah, that, that was just curious. It was a, there was a Goodwill two years ago. The guy was following me around in the Goodwill, and then he finally came up to me and said, I, I seen you on the Chad show, whatever it was back then. Back when, <laughs> I, I, and I, was, I was freaking out when he was following me around. What's this guy want? <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. I think it's different for a lady, right? I mean, I'll be nice if, if I, you just say something to me, but if, if I have somebody's walking around and find, and don't approach me in a parking lot, because I will get ugly. I'm like freaky in a parking lot. I don't know why. Yeah. Parking out. lots freak me out. I don't get freaky in a parking lot. That's not a bad. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I get like, I don't know, like stranger danger in parking lots. It freaks me out. So people have come up to me. Like if somebody tries to panhandle in a parking lot, I get ugly. I do. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Especially if my kids are with me. Mm -mm. Yeah. So, <laughs> I do. Um, Margaret, I'm surprised you're not recognized more. Me? No. Nobody knows me. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I don't wear this much makeup in real life, so that might be part of it, too. <laughs> like, no, that's not really her. <laughs> oh, you got to change. Hey, somebody got sale. He's got sale. Yay. Um, okay, so tell, tell, tell everybody where to find you, because I know it's, we're almost done here. So who wants to go first? Uh, find me on uh, Merch University, uh, the Facebook group, or the YouTube channel. I do, like, a daily vlog every day, so that's yeah, those are good. Those are fun to watch. Yeah, they're fun to do. <laughs> Jeff, where can everybody find you? Uh, they can find me on YouTube under CauseFrog1. I'll put a little uh, message in the chat, and they can clink it. Um, yeah, I most of I do kind. Of, I don't do a, a daily vlog. I do a vlog every once in a while. I do videos on Illustrator merch, on reselling gardens, cats, whatever. Yeah. Those are fun. And this, this is where I am. It's me, Margaret, Texas Scout Treasures. And that's where I am on Facebook, too, and everywhere else, Texas Scout Treasures. So, Tracy said, I would get recognized all the time, not because of YouTube, because of retail stores I used to work at. <laughs> American Yesteryear says, autograph your fans' t-shirts with a Sharpie without asking first. <laughs> Let me just get this Sharpie out of here. <laughs> Okay, okay. Thanks everybody for coming to watch. And next week, maybe Chris will be on 10K on the Bay. And oh, we never mentioned what happened to Chris Avalos today, Thirst Shop Hustler. He was moving. He's moving. He right? He's moving. Yeah, he's moving. Yeah. Sorry, Chris. We didn't forget you. He'll be back. We didn't forget you. He's being anal probed by aliens. He what? He's being anal probed by aliens. He's abducted. He's what happens in LA? He'll come back with lots of ideas for shirts. <laughs> That's what happens in yeah, LA. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you guys later. All right, later. Bye.